Hi everyone, welcome back to Cybersecurity Training Expert. If you're preparing for the CompTIA Security Plus exam, you've probably noticed there are a ton of acronyms to remember. From protocols to attack types, it can feel overwhelming. But don't worry, today I'm sharing simple techniques to memorize and understand Security Plus acronyms. We'll decode the most important ones and explore mnemonics and memory tricks to make studying easier. Let's dive in. Why acronyms are important. First, let's talk about why acronyms matter. The Security Plus exam is filled with acronyms because the IT and cybersecurity industries rely on them for efficiency and clarity. Understanding these acronyms isn't just about passing the exam, it's also critical for communicating effectively in the workplace. For example, if someone says, we need to enable HTTPS for secure web traffic, you need to know they're referring to Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. Acronyms save time, but only if you understand what they mean. Categorizing acronyms for easier memorization. Instead of trying to memorize every acronym randomly, group them by category. This helps you make connections and retain information more effectively. Here are some common categories. Protocols. HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, SSH, Secure Shell, FTP, File Transfer Protocol, DNS, Domain Name, System Attack, Types, DDoS, Distributed Denial of Service, XSS, Cross-Site Scripting, SQLI, SQL Injection, Security Frameworks and Controls, NIST, National Institute of Standards and Technology, CIS, Center for Internet Security Authentication and Encryption, MFA, Multi-Factor Authentication, AES, advanced encryption, standard PKI, public key infrastructure. By grouping acronyms like this, you can focus on one category at a time. Mnemonics for memorizing acronyms. Now let's make memorization fun with mnemonics. These are memory tricks that create connections in your brain. Protocols mnemonic. To remember common secure protocols like HTTPS, SSH, and FTP, think Harry sings songs frequently, HTTPS, SSH, SMTP, FTP, CIA triad, mnemonic. The CIA triad, confidentiality, integrity, availability, is a cornerstone of security. Use, cats in armor. Encryption algorithms, mnemonic. For symmetric encryption algorithms like AES, DES, and RC4, think Aunt Dorothy rides. The sillier the mnemonic, the more likely you are to remember it. Understanding acronyms through context. It's not enough to memorize acronyms, you also need to understand them in context. For example, HTTPS versus HTTP. Both are web protocols, but HTTPS uses encryption for secure communication. DDoS versus DOS. A DOS attack involves a single system overwhelming a target, while a DDoS attack uses multiple systems to do the same. When you study an acronym, ask yourself, what does it stand for? What problem does it solve? How is it used in real-world scenarios? Repetition and active recall. One of the best ways to lock acronyms into memory is through repetition and active recall. Flashcards. Use apps like Quizlet or physical flashcards. Write the acronym on one side and its definition and context on the other. Practice tests. Look for practice questions that emphasize acronyms. These will help you apply what you've learned. Daily review. Dedicate 10-15 minutes each day to reviewing acronyms. This consistent exposure reinforces your memory. Visual aids and mind maps. If you're a visual learner, create charts or mind maps to connect related acronyms. For example, draw a web of protocols with arrows linking HTTPS to SSL TLS or DNS to IP addressing. Use color coding to highlight categories like authentication, encryption, or attack types. Top acronyms to know for the Security Plus exam. Here's a quick list of high priority acronyms you should know for the Security Plus exam. Protocols, HTTPS, Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure, SSH, Secure Shell, DNS, Domain Name System Authentication and Encryption, MFA, Multi-Factor Authentication, AES, Advanced Encryption Standard, PKI, Public Key Infrastructure Attack, Types, DDoS, Distributed Denial of Service, XSS, cross-site scripting, SQLI, SQL injection frameworks and standards, NIST, National Institute of Standards and Technology, CIS, Center for Internet Security focus on these first as they're likely to appear on the exam, 
And that's your guide to memorizing and understanding Security Plus acronyms. With these tips, you'll not only remember acronyms, but also understand how to use them in context. If you're looking for a complete Security Plus prep course, check out my full training program at Certify IT Academy. It's packed with lessons, quizzes, and resources to help you ace your exam. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Let's get you certified.